Hey guys, Rick Stone here from the blog Our Stony Acres and the Online Gardening School. Welcome to 5 Minute Fridays, my video series where I try and give you a valuable gardening tip in 5 minutes or less. Before we get started this week, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel or if you're watching this on Facebook, please make sure you like my Stony Acres Facebook page. Okay, so I didn't think that I'd be out in the garden filming videos as late in the year as we are, but it's, no, it's the first week of November and we actually have super nice weather. It's been in, in the 60s all week and uh, so I thought I'd come out and, and do a couple more videos out here in the garden. So today I actually want to take you through and show you our winter garden and we grow a winter garden every year in cold frames and you can see these cold frames behind me here. We actually have three cold frames that we grow in and so I thought I'd take a minute and just show you those. Now before we actually get started uh, I, I'm going to warn you, things are not terribly impressive this year. Normally there would be a bigger variety of plants growing, but we had some craziness going on in our family in August, and I just didn't get the time to get out here and get as much planted as I wanted to. So each of these beds has plenty in them, and what did get planted is growing really well. So I thought I would take you and show you these, and then maybe we'll talk about some of the other things afterwards that normally I would have but didn't get planted this year. So this first cold frame is our lettuce cold frame and we love to grow lettuce in the fall. That's the best time of the year in my opinion to grow lettuce because you're not fighting the heat and so you don't have the bitterness issues that you might have in the springtime when the heat starts to show up. So we love growing here in the fall and this bed you can see the lettuce is doing really really well. We've been eating from this bed for about a month now and we'll continue to eat uh, lettuce from this bed for about another five maybe six weeks. Uh, Lettuce doesn't hold up really well to the constant freeze-thaw cycle that we have once our temperatures at night start getting below 20 degrees. And that usually for us hits about the first to sometimes as late as the middle of December when we have those really, really cold temps. And lettuce doesn't hold up really well to those temperatures. And so we'll harvest all of the lettuce uh, by the, the middle of December and, uh, and then we'll replant this bed and we actually replant it to lettuce again. And, and you can see this empty spot here has actually already been replanted and uh, it, that may actually sprout uh, still here in the fall. And if it does, that's okay because tiny lettuce plants are pretty winter hardy. It's the bigger plants that, that aren't as cold hardy as some of the others. So we'll, we'll plant those and those will actually uh, show up in early March and give us another harvest uh, really early on in the spring. So that's our lettuce bed. Next bed is our spinach bed. Now this is our favorite bed by far. We love the spinach bed because it lasts for so long. So we planted this bed on August 1st and you can see the plants are looking really, really nice now. We've actually been harvesting from this bed for about two weeks now and we'll continue to harvest from this bed all the way through the winter and all the way into the spring. So we'll probably not be done with this bed until May. So we sometimes get seven or eight months worth of harvest out of this bed, which is awesome. We love that, to have that constant supply of spinach. It's a great salad crop, it's great toppings, you know, whatever you want. It, it's perfect and we love this bed. And also you'll see in there, there's some Swiss chard as well. We're not huge Swiss chard fans, but we do throw in a little so that we have some to mix into our salads and, and stuff like that. And then the last bed, is our carrot bed. Now you can see that the carrots are still relatively small and that's because when you plant things in the fall it takes a lot longer for them to mature than it would uh, otherwise and so these carrots actually probably won't be ready to harvest until the middle of December maybe not even till Christmas probably though we won't start harvesting from this bed until after the first of the year so January and February we'll harvest from this bed and, uh, and, and then this bed actually, after we're finished harvesting the carrots in February, this will become a potato bed and we'll plant potatoes really, really early, either the end of February or uh, the first part of March, we'll get potatoes in here that will be ready for us to eat as early as June. Uh, so so that, that's actually kind of a, a handy combination, the carrots and then potatoes works out really well in these cold frames. So. Now, as you can see, we only had four different crops this year. Normally, there would be quite a few more. So normally, we would have mosh, we would have kale, maybe a couple of different types of kale growing. We'd also have several Asian greens, so um, things like minzua, bok choy, pok choy, 
uh, taut soy, all of those grow really, really well. And we would normally have all of those in these beds. And then usually we'll do some turnips and beets, mainly for the greens. The, 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 the bulbs actually don't do as well in the wintertime, but we'll grow those for the greens as well. But we just didn't get to planting them this year. And so, you know, we'll just move forward with what we have. And, and as you can see, it's doing really well, despite the fact that we don't have maybe as much as we, we would have wanted. So if you'd like to learn more about growing in cold frames in the wintertime, uh, I have a great course that you can, can watch on that. My year-round gardening course, it's a five-hour course. It's my biggest and my best course, and uh, it's on sale this week. So if you want to learn more about how to grow in cold frames, click through the link that's in either the description or the comment section, and that course is half off. So normally it's a $40 course, because it's a big course, it's five hours long. But for this week, it's on sale for 20 bucks. So click through and you can, can test that out. It's gonna teach you how to grow in the fall, all the way through the winter, and then to get stuff going extra early in the springtime as well. So it's a great course to get you a 365 day a year harvest like we have, okay? So check that out. All right, that's all that I have for this week. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And then remember, subscribe to my YouTube channel or like me on Facebook if you're watching this on Facebook. You guys all have a great week. Happy gardening.